Part 5. We are going to continue with rules for the four basic operations and we are going to focus on multiplying a binomial by a binomial and a trinomial. You will find this on page 76 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Multiplying a binomial by a binomial. To find the product of two binomials, each term in the first bracket is multiplied by each term in the second bracket. Okay, so this term, this first term in the first bracket is multiplying by this whole bracket. This term, the second term in the first bracket is multiplying this whole bracket. So I, I write the A. It's, it's easy if you put in this step. Take the first term, write the second bracket. Take the second term in the first bracket and write the second bracket. And now you just multiply. A times X is AX. A times Y is AY. B times X is BX. And B times Y is BY. So we can also illustrate it like this. The product of two binomials can be illustrated by applying the idea of area. So if this is A plus B, this is X plus Y. So this part is A, this part is B. This part is X, this part is Y. So if I multiply, this will be AX. And if I multiply BX, and if I multiply AY, and if I multiply BY, and if I add up all the areas, it will be AX plus AY plus BX plus BY. Okay, let's look at an example. So if I take the first term and I multiply it with the second bracket, so X times 2X will be 2X squared. X times negative 3 will be negative 3X. Negative 2 times 2x will be negative 4x. And negative 2 times negative 3 will be positive 6. And if I add this 2, so I rewrite that one. This is the like terms. If the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I add the numbers. And I just rewrite. And that's my final answer. So we were multiplying each term in the first bracket by every term in the second bracket. And then we were just adding the like terms. Okay, let's look at another example. Write down the following product. Now, I'm going to put in this step because it's really helpful in the beginning. So take the first term in the first bracket and rewrite the second bracket. Take the second term, remember to grab the sign um, in the first bracket and then rewrite the second bracket. And then x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then if I simplify this, 1 minus 2, uh, remember the signs are different, so I subtract and I take the biggest movement, so it's negative x. Rewrite, rewrite. So add the like terms. That's what we did there. Okay. Um, let's just, I want you... I want you to stop, and I want you to do try now 10, and I think we can just do number A. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 10, number A. So it's x minus 3, x plus 4. So I write the first term and I rewrite the second bracket. And I write the second term, grab the sign, and I rewrite the second bracket. And then it's easy. Then it's just x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times 4, it's negative 12. So I rewrite this one. 4 minus 3, that's just x, or 1x, and negative 12. And that's my final answer. Okay, let's look at number, um, num example 11. Expand the following product. So now the numbers is just a bit more complicated, but the process is the same. So basically, I write the first term and the second bracket. The second term in the first bracket, and I write the second bracket. And then I start multiplying. 
So this is 15x squared. This is going to be negative 6xy. This is going to be negative 20xy. This is going to be positive 8y squared. These are my like terms. So if the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I just add the numbers. And that will be my final. Okay. I want you to do the following. Let's just do now. Let's just turn it around. Try now 11 and just do number B. Just going to make nice space. Okay, let's start. Try now 11. We are at number B. So this is going to be 6A minus 5B. And this is going to be 7A plus 4B. Okay, let's put in that second step. So the first term and the second bracket. And then the second term, but remember to grab the sign and the second bracket. And now we're going to start. 6 times 7, what will that be? That will be 42. And that's A squared. 6 times 4, what will that be? 24. A, B. Negative 5 times 7 is negative 35, and that's A, B. Negative 5 times 4, that is 20, and that will be, uh, oh, oh, let's just assign, sorry. A negative times a positive, it's a negative, so it's negative 20, B squared. Be careful to focus. Can you see what my, my mistake? I forgot to focus that this was a negative. If it's a negative, I have to stop and I have to concentrate on the signs. Okay. So let's just find our like terms. This is like and this is like. So I rewrite the first one. Now, if the signs are different, what do I do? I subtract and that will give me 11. And what was the biggest movement? Negative. So it's negative 11. Just rewrite your alphabet letters. Minus. 20B squared. And that's my final answer. I want to show you this, this method. Okay, and this is if brackets are the same. Now, I, I think we can first focus here. Let's just move it a little bit up. So, the square of a binomial. Say, for example, you have a bracket and you square it. It's actually the same as if we rewrite that bracket out two times. Now, if we must multiply, we do exactly the same. We say a times a is a squared. a times uh, negative b is negative ab. Negative b times a is negative ab. And negative b times negative b is positive b squared. These are my like terms, so it's negative 2ab. And that's my final answer. But I want to show you the short method when you square something. The square of a binomial, and this is the short method. Now, what you do is you square the first number. And... Then you leave a space and you square the second number. So this will be a squared and this will be b squared. Negative b times negative b. But now to find this middle answer, you multiply this two with each other. So a multiply negative b, that will give me negative a b. And then you multiply it by two, always by two. So if you multiply the two terms, and then multiply 2, and that will give you negative 2ab, and that will be your middle term. Okay, so let me repeat. You square the first number, you square the last number, you leave an open space. You multiply this 2 with each other, with the signs, and then you just always multiply it by 2, and that will be your middle number. Okay. I want you, uh, you can do it on the long method, and you can, let, let's first look at an example. So in this one, we multiply, so that's 4k squared, we multiply. Now, it's always good if you have, see fractions that you make everything fractions. So 2k times b, um, and then 1 times 2, so the 2s will cancel out, and it will just be kp. The same here, put it over 1. So you can see the 2s cancel out, so this is kp. And then this one, P times P is P squared, 2 times 2 is 4. And if I add up this 2, 1 plus 1, it's 2 kp, and that's the final answer. But let's look at this one. 
So I square the first one. So 2k times 2k, it's 4k squared. Leave a space. Square the last one. P times P is P squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Now I multiply this two with each other. Now if I multiply this, remember again, make it a fraction. So it will be, let's multiply the top. It will be 2k P over 2 and the 2's cancel out. And then I multiply it by 2. So it will be positive 2kp and that's what I filled in in that one. Okay, I want you, I think we start easy, I want you to do try now 12 and number A. First do it on the long method and then try to do it on the shorter method. Okay, let's start. Try now 12. Okay, so if we look at the first one, this is going to be x plus 2y squared. Remember, never just square both terms. It's incorrect. There is a middle term. So first, let's try to do the long way. The long way is to write out the brackets. And I write out the brackets how many times? Two times. Okay, and now I say x times x, x squared. x times this one, it will be 2xy. This times this, it will be 2xy. 2 times 2, what will that be? 4, and y times y is y squared. This is like, so what will it be? x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared. Okay, now let's try it on the other method, and let's just go through the process. Okay. So square the first number, that's x squared. Square the last number, 2y times 2y, that will be positive 4y squared. Leave a space. Now multiply this two with each other. So x times 2y, that will be 2xy, and then always multiply by 2. So that will be 4xy, and that's exactly as what I got there. So you can do any of the two methods.